cannabis, 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 Uh, there is uh, a, more and more science on the medical benefits of cannabis that's becoming uh, apparent all the time. And uh, it's something that is, for the most part, the information about the current science on cannabis is being controlled by pharmaceutical companies for several reasons. For one, most research is expensive, it need, needs funding. The government doesn't fund most research. Uh, they usually let the, the public sector do that. And so the, the, the public sector, you know, private pharmaceutical companies, will usually sponsor research that's promoting an ideal that they're wanting to support. So the only other peer-reviewed scientific journals on cannabis right now are owned by pharmaceutical companies. JW Pharmaceutical Company in particular out of England uh, owns the, the main peer-reviewed scientific journal on cannabis. If you look them up and look up their conventions to see who else sponsors their conventions, because they host symposiums too, they get their scientists out, you'll find not only a list of 12 big pharmaceutical companies, but on that list is the U.S. National Institute for Drug Abuse and the U.S. National Institute for Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism. Those are the two U.S. organizations, government organizations that fund the studies on medical cannabis. Not any of their sort of health sectors or, or anything to do with science or anything like that at all. You know, just these people that are, are trying to deal with drug abuse because what they want to do, because they've been forced to recognize the medical benefits of cannabis, is turn it into pills, inhalers, you know, sprays, anything but the actual smoked plant. So they're sponsoring that. They're putting as much money as they can in their budget into these pharmaceutical companies and the scientists that are promoting their ideology. And in order for us to be successful in court, we need to do a couple of things. Because there's some flaws in, in the laws right now, to be sure. And one of them, as Jason touched on, was cannabis resin. If, if he has his health card from Health Canada, it's illegal for him to make hash. It's illegal for him to cook it in butter and squeeze the leaf out. And then he's made cannabis resin, according to, 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 to the laws. And that's completely wrong. We've, we've dealt with this at our club, and uh, I've, I've tried to fight it through the courts, but they just dropped it, so I, I couldn't have a court of appeal decision on the issue. So it's very frustrating. But uh, we want to be able to prove the medicinal benefits of, of eating and using cannabis on the skin. And we want to be able to prove that in the court of law. And in order to do that, we not only need good experts and good argument, but we need good evidence. Without good evidence, our experts can do nothing, and, and our arguments are just, you know, smoke in the, in the air for the most part. So this peer-reviewed journal is critical because there's people doing research everywhere on whole plant cannabis, but they can't get it published by a peer-reviewed journal. And therefore, it's not accepted as credible information in the court of law. What is accepted is these pharmaceutical companies and the information that they put together. But it's not something that we can't do. What we're going to do is find the 12 top scientists in the world that are working in, in this field in, in a direction that's more in line with our thinking, right? About the whole plant and what the whole plant can do. And there are many of them. I've had a few of them. Actually, there's one of them, Dr. Hornby in Vancouver, that told me this is what he wanted us to do, that he'd help us and he'd get his other scientific friends to do it too. Because we're just going to line up 12 you know, very involved scientists in the cannabis community from around the world. And what happens is, is when a, a researcher from the university comes up with something that they finished, you know, a professor or master's student, they'll submit it to us, we'll give it to that group of 12 scientists, four or five of them will decide, okay, that's a project that I'll be willing to review. They'll look at the methodology, they'll determine, you know, that it's good science, and if they do, then we'll publish it in our journal. You know, that's what peer-reviewed journals mean. Now, it's going to cost us some money, to be sure. The scientists won't work for free. And, uh, you know, the print will cost some money. So we'll be doing a few things uh, to try to pay for that. But for the most part, you know, it is very possible. And we're going to be doing a, a number of things to try and, and make our foundation here, you know, accessible uh, to all of the other clubs and people that are working with this plant. 
and I, I firmly believe that there are enough of us right now that if we put our money behind a scientific team that can publish the, the most credible uh, research on this issue, that we can prove that this whole plant medicine I'm referring to is far better than any synthetic drug they can come up with. And so that is our goal. I, I think that it's very um, doable. I think the only reason it hasn't happened is because no one's had the, the, the money, the vision, and the community around them. And I, I just have to thank you guys for coming here today, every single one of you. Uh, is, um, Uh, the work that I do would not be possible, would not be successful if it were not for people individually as you all are deciding to come here today or come out and otherwise support the work that I do. And I just love this town, I love this island. Thank you very much everybody for coming out. Special thanks for Jason for speaking today. And uh, thanks I guess also to the artists and those that are uh, uh, bidding in the art auction today. Um, oh, should Thanks again, everybody, for coming out. Happy International Medical Marijuana Day. Oh, yeah, smoke them if you got them. I can't forget that. <laughs>